Welcome to Real Food. Today I'm going to cook something unusual. It's going to be... Um, I went to Bara Market, um, by the way, and um, I found some really nice fish there. The fish mongers in Bara Market are absolutely amazing. And today I bought a, a monkfish, um, monkfish steak. And um, I will be preparing this steak and to accompany this steak I am going to also make a purple cabbage curry um, vegetable basically with this monkfish steak. So, and I'm going to use this um, golden curry, this is Japanese curry block. So what I started doing, I started um, frying my, um, gently in olive oil, my cabbage just to tenderize it. And then I will be adding my um, curry block and um, and coconut and coconut cream. So here's my coconut cream gone in, and my curry blocks. These curry blocks will melt, and then um, I can't imagine what color it's all going to be because curry is brown yellow, <laughs> and my cabbage is purple. So you can see it's all going beautiful purple color, light, like lilac color here. This is going to be brown. Um, so it's going to be a very interesting experiment. I've never done this before, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be delicious. So um, here we are. So here's my curry. It's nearly there. My cabbage is already fairly tender. And I really like the color. Look, it's golden, brown, purplish um, highlights. And you know what? I tried it. It's absolutely delicious. It tastes wonderful. So I really look forward. I think it's going to be a really good accompaniment for my um, fish steak. Um, it's got um, mild flavor because it's Japanese curry. And um, it's got some fiber and texture. So I'm very pleased. I'm thinking I might add also um, some pepper, uh, ground pepper, and um, maybe some herbs like um, wild thyme, um, rosemary, that kind of herb, herbal, coriander maybe, and that should be it. It looks gorgeous already. Okay, and this is my steak, my monkfish steak. And I think it's huge, it's really, really big and thick. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to cut um, cut it in half. I'm going to freeze one half for later because I think that's um, that's too much for, for one portion. So I'm going to eat this bit and I'm going to freeze the other one. So, so this one is going to be frozen and I'm going to eat it a little later. And this one I'm going to gently fry. Um, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to eat this bit here, so I'm going to cut it out. It's just because I never actually um, had monkfish before. It looks fresh and delicious, but I just don't know um, if this bit there should be eaten. So I've cut it out. It smells lovely. So I'm going to put it on heat with a little bit of oil. So here we are. So I just need to add some oil. So I'm going to add oil under so that it doesn't burn. I should have done it before placing there, but never mind. Here we are. And some more oil on top. So and I'm going to put it on heat. So, I think it's going to be a pretty simple um, fried monkfish with a little bit of um, thyme and some lemon. 
thing is my time. And, um, that one. My pepper mill doesn't seem to want to work. Oh, I know why. Because I didn't open it. Okay, here we are. So I'm going to turn it gently. Oh, I can feel it already getting quite. Um, here we are. So I think my steak is nearly there. I don't want to overcook it or over process it, but I think it's nearly there. So um the meat is appears to be similar to tuna, so it's quite quite um quite meaty and quite I imagine um it, it might be even rubbery, but it looks nice and it smells nice. Um and my curry is, I can see already my curry will be great accompaniment for this um, for this fish. So here we are. Here's my um, monkfish uh, fish steak with um, with my cabbage curry. Um, I think it's a great accompaniment. The only additional thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some um, some soy sauce, um, just a dash, and I'm also going to add some. Um, um, I'm going to add some rice vinegar instead of lemon. You could add a lemon, but I think rice vinegar will work really well. So I hope um, you enjoyed this um, video. Let me wish you bon appetit and we'll chat again soon.